This is just incredible. Florida's Department of Education announced yesterday that they are withholding money from two school districts because the teachers and the administrators in those school districts said, we want to protect our students and ourselves. I mean, just let that sink in for a minute. These schools are being punished, are being punished because they're asking children to wear masks during a pandemic. And it's, it's not like Ron DeSantis doesn't know the kids are dying over this. I mean, we're averaging uh, in the neighborhood of a thousand deaths a day in the United States. Last week, there were over 150,000 new cases of COVID, the majority children. And DeSantis, you know, because it's, it's starting to spread, you know, as we're going back to school, it's just spreading all across the country. But here's the thing. I mean, if DeSantis backs down and says, you know, I, or Abbott or, or uh, you know, any of these other uh, Republican governors, uh, Christy Nome, uh, uh, what's his name down in Mississippi? Uh, if, if any of them back down and say, you know, I was wrong. You should wear masks. That is like, in Republican circles, a political death sentence. Democrats are, uh, you know, allowed to say I was wrong. <laughs> and do from time to time. But Republic, oh no, you can never do it. You have to be right all the time. Which in my mind reflects just a deep fundamental insecurity among both the politicians and the voters who vote for them. We want certainty. We want somebody who's always right. And so, you know, Trump will lie like a dozen times a day when he was president and to, to this day. And it's like, oh, no, we have to believe everything he says because, you know, he's the great God, Donald Trump. So uh, COVID. So number one, if you have been bamboozled, uh, you know, sadly, on one of these Facebook sites or one of these other uh, uh, websites or whatever, by seeing, oh, hey, look at this study. This study says that uh, it's going to be amazing that, uh, you know, ivermectin will save the world. It'll save millions and millions of lives. Please know that that study from that no-name journal, actually, there is a name to the journal, um, but that, the, that study is based on a study that has been debunked and is a lie. And when you pull, and it's, and it's not even a study, it's a study of a study, or a study of studies, what's called a meta-analysis, and which is like, you know, I'll read five books and then tell you what I think, sort of thing. And that if you reverse out of their data, that Egyptian study, the, the one that started this whole ivermectin thing, saying, oh, this will solve the world's problems, and it turned out that the researchers had falsified information. If you reverse that out of the one that's published over on the NIH site, what you find is that ivermectin is completely and totally useless. That all the other studies found found it was useless, including the most recent one. And, you know, it's like, I don't know how to convince people that they should pay attention to actual scientists. Um, and, and they get just this little tiny fringe bit of, it looks official, it's on the NIH.gov website. And people are like, oh, I, I'll believe that instead of what like, you know, the head of the National Institute of Infectious Diseases, Anthony Fauci, has to say. Or I'll believe that instead of what, you know, every hospital administrator and physician in the country is saying. I mean, it's just, it's just incredible. And now down in Florida, this from the, the, the Miami Herald this morning, the headline, Florida changes COVID-19 data creating an artificial decline in recent deaths. Yesterday or the day before, uh, the Florida uh, Department of Health had, had gone on a tweet storm criticizing the CDC. And then apparently uh, DeSantis, you know, made some calls or pulled some strings or whatever. And so now, instead of counting COVID deaths at the time of death, they're waiting until they get the time of, birth, of death certificate, which is typically about a week later. So, so there's going to be the, this week-long pause of deaths in Florida because they've changed the way they're counting who died from COVID. It's a scam. It's just an absolute scam. Meanwhile, the Florida Department of Education announced that they are withholding money from two schools 
for allowing masks.